So folks, I want to show you a couple things because people write to us and and uh, I'm glad I'm not Dear Abby because I ain't good at the love lorn, but uh, I keep telling guys that have riatas or buy riatas or want to know how to treat them, I keep talking about sable and that's fat and it's kidney fat. So I, I want to show you what it looks like. Our friend Brandy Dunn, she sent me some kidney fat. And uh, it's inside the cavity when you butcher. And all the guts fall out. You look up inside the cavity and you'll see this fat up there inside. And it's snow white looking. And that's it. And you cut off a piece of it. And you take about that much off and you put it on your hand. And you rub your riata down before you pull it. And all it is is fat. Now, I don't know about your country, but out here, as long as I have it in a burlap bag, it doesn't go rancid. Keep it away from the dog. And you got to keep it away from the dog because it, it's got that flavor. But anyway, that's how I keep it and just, for the sake of knowing, those of you that might need to know this, is you don't keep it in your sock drawer. Your bride will not appreciate that. Okay. Now, wrapping the saddle horn. Put it in water. I put it in for about 10 minutes, maybe. If you got two guys, you can wring it out. Which, for you Okies, I'll bet you somebody remembers the term that somebody used in their outfit called wringing out the dish rag. And that's, that's dancing, going to a dance. And when you used to swing your partner around, he's wringing out the dish rag. I always got a kick out of that. That's wringing out the dish rag right there. Now you take one end. And you cut it down. So you can put it, put a hole in it, and put it where your lariat goes through. You're also going to need a slice in it for when you're done. So it's going to go right here, right on your rope strap, and then you need a slice right here to run the tail through. So you just eyeball it, and then put a slice in it. Punch a hole in it. Feel like one of them cooking channels. Now we'll add just a hint of knife. This little metal deal on the screw is kind of important. I don't know what it's called, but it, it's a difference between a hand and a dink. I've done it dinkwise a hundred times so I lose the damn thing, but anyway, you screw it back in the hole that you already took it out of for your rope strap. Now, double check your slit a little bit more if you need it. What I do, okay, now I'm going to start Pulling it down. Hmm. Now I like to go right over the back of the cap, just like that, 
because of dallying and that little piece right there it makes it a cleaner taking on and putting on your dallies now some guys think you got to really like stretch it with a pickup or something but I don't because uh, when it's wet and you just leave it alone and let it dry it'll be fine now the end you just kind of pick where it's going to end up and cut it off to a point Grab it with your pliers and pull it through. Then I just kind of hand turn it to finish it off and get it down where it belongs so that you got this bend in it right here. If you don't have that bend, you're going to get in big trouble. Because that's where you want to dally, is right on the bottom of that saddle horn. And what really happens is that you, this tail, later on, this thing will start to stretch. All you got to do is just pull it again. And uh, that's how I wrap my saddle horn. And I get, then I probably go through two a year of those. So there you go. Now, I used to run a rope around it while it was wet. You don't need to. Let it dry, leave it alone, then start dallying. But there's the secret right there. Make sure you got that going on. Right there. Well, there you go, folks. Then you set the oven at 350, weigh down and a half, and you got a dally horn. And by the way, folks, now that we're gaining, I'm putting this saddle all back together and getting everything right on it because it's going to Australia. So the next time you see it, it'll be in a video in Australia. So there you go. Good night, mate. Just wanted to let you know that Prieto here and Vaquero, they're headed north. They're going to be getting their mail in Idaho from now on. And um, you watch Prieto especially change from you neck to bridling up when I'm working cattle. And uh, he really enjoys working cattle. And he's very subtle about it. And then there's a the ranch truck here. And the funny thing is, I want you to know that this horse is lighter than this horse. Over time, this one will lighten up. But old stump puller here, he's, he's the lighter of the two. And that kind of makes me laugh. And, uh, of course, they'll have a long flowing mane here another year. But anyway, this is two of the horses from Mexico that are headed north. So, adios amigos, que vaya bien.